inside out braid. Um, it starts off the same way, prep your hair the same way, put in the leave-in comb out, um, and start your sections the same way. So comb out your hair back, take a wide section, comb out your tangles, I always like my first section neat because none of my other sections are ever neat because I'm just not really a neat person. <laughs> so, the only difference, literally the only difference between um, this inside out braid and the French braid is the way that you're moving the hair over each other. So, I just went my lipstick. So, we're gonna start with three strands again. Okay, and so if you remember, the French braid starts going over. You put it like this, okay? You're, you're, the strands that you're moving into the middle are going over the middle hair, okay? For the inside out braid, which is like, the inside out braid is when that braid is, is on top of your hair rather than tucked under. So, when you're doing the inside out braid, you've got your three strands, okay? Instead of going over like this to the middle, you're gonna go under like this. So now it's underneath the middle strand. And then this one's gonna go underneath the middle strand, okay? And then I always go one more time, like I told you, to just kind of build that base and um, even just looking at it like that, you can see that the braid is going to be on the outside. Now, some people, when they're French braiding on themselves, can only do this braid. It's funny because when I learned how to French braid, I could only do the regular French braid. I have to really think about this when I'm doing it on myself because I always look at it in the mirror. Um, I have to tell myself, okay, go under, go under, go under. And sometimes I get it all funky, monkey, messed up, but uh, yeah. So here we go. We're going to get my next section. I'm going to drop this again, grab my next section, and make it nice and clean. Okay, there's my section. It's going to go underneath the top, or at the middle, I guess gonna go under the middle and I'm gonna go on the left side get my section okay it's gonna go under see it looks really confusing because it looks like you have like six strands that you're holding but you just have to really pay attention to what you're doing and hold it tight and make sure your sections are nice and clean sometimes this pops up like this I usually just hold it down with my finger. Seriously, your hands are like you have the best tools ever. Like thankful for my hands so much. Okay, grab the next section. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. And I put it underneath the middle section. And can you see how it's starting to be um, on top of the head rather than underneath. It's gonna be so cute. A lot of times you guys were asking how to hide your dirty hair. <laughs> Braiding is like seriously my favorite. I don't know if I already said that, but whenever I don't know what to do with my hair and I don't feel like washing it, I just put it in a braid. Or I'll just braid like right here down the middle. I can show you that on me. Um, and it like looks like you made an effort, but you didn't because you didn't even wash your hair. That's me, baby. I love dirty hair. So after you're like pretty stoked, pretty good on the regular French braid, this is your next challenge. The inside out braid. It took me a long time to learn how to do this one actually. Um, just because I didn't get it and my hands felt like it was so wrong doing it that way going under rather than over my brain was like what that's not right 
Hey Dolly, your hair is getting a little cray cray over here. I'm gonna wash all this gunk out of it. I use Dolly's hair all the time. Tori brushes it when she's here. I don't know if you guys saw her picture or video on Instagram of her brushing Dolly's hair, but this is her doll and we are just borrowing it. So don't tell her. Just kidding. You can tell her, but she might get a little upset. She told me, you guys, that she wants to be a hairstyler, a rock star, and a nail lady when she grows up. Go freaking figure. Okay, so now we're getting to the wide part again. Um, same thing. Keep, keep your sections tight. Keep your sections clean. Where is my section? That's the question. Here it is. Pay attention to what you're doing. A lot of times I don't, and I'm like, what? Where am I? Like right now. There's so much hair, my hands are so small, I can hardly hold it. You, you girls with long hair, and boys. Boys have long hair too, I guess. Like how cool that is, you guys. It's like a mohawk. She called the mohawk braid. Let me turn her so you guys can see better. It's sick. Let me pause. Spin, 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 spin. Ooh. Okay. Am I good? Mm. Cool. Okay. So. Do you see that, guys? Like three strands, one hand. I think this is when people get frustrated. I totally get it. Cause it's like so messy almost. So it's pretty much the same. You're literally, the only difference is you're going um, under instead of over when you're putting it in the middle section. And I can braid pretty fast, but right now I'm not, so you can really see what the heck I'm doing. Where's, leave that hair out, out. hair wrap out. So, I mean, obviously, then you can just braid it all the way down into a, a regular braid. But I'm going to show you something else right now. I'm going to take a hair tie, and I'm going to put it at the base of her head. Oops, sorry, Dolly. Okay. I'm going to show you how to fishtail on this bottom. Okay, so I have my inside-out braid, and then I tied it off into a ponytail. Um, because I want to show you guys how to do the fishtail braid with the hair that's left out. Um, but first, I'm going to take a piece to hide this rubber band because nobody likes to look at a rubber band when you have a cute hairstyle. Uh, I'm going to take a piece of the ponytail and I'm going to wrap it around. And then what you do to hide it when you get to the bottom and the back uh, I'll show you on the top, but this is what I'm going to be doing on the back side. Take a bobby pin, and you're basically going to just put it like this. But I'm going to do it on the other side so nobody can see it. So make sure it's pulled tight. Okay, so for the fishtail, the fishtail braid is only two strands, not three strands. It's a little confusing, um, you know, but you just, you gotta practice, you guys. Okay, so you're starting with two strands. 
And like, yes, technically that's a third strand, but not really, because you're not really working with it. Um, you're just pulling hair from this part. So the fishtail is two strands going over and under each other. So whatever side you want to start on, um, you swap them, okay? So you got an X. And then because this hair, this hair is on top, so technically you went one, two, okay? Oh wait, now I switched. <laughs> okay. Here we go. You're gonna grab a piece from this side. So it doesn't matter what size piece. Grab it and put it over. Grab a piece from this side and pull it over. You can see the fishtail starting to form and eventually all this hair is going to be used so don't worry that you have a big chunk left. Um, and you basically are just going to go back and forth from each side <clears throat> and be careful that you don't um, start ending up making a third piece. Like a lot of times I'll get to this point and I'll just leave it and I'll start doing a regular braid. Make sure you're putting it with the group, keeping them separate. You only have two in your hands, like that. And so sometimes for like fun texture, you can like take a big chunk to like switch it up, you know, make it kind of funky. And then go, in, go back into taking like smaller sections, um, whatever you want. Just make it cool, make it edgy, make it whatever you want. Um, I just really want to show you that once you use all of this stockpile, I'm going to call it your stockpile hair. Once that is all gone and you're back to two strands, then you just take from the outside, the outside of the, the strand, and you move it back into the middle. And that's it. And look how cool that looks. This is also a super easy braid. It's way easier to do when your hair is like either in a ponytail or just instead of doing a French braid, just do one of these braids. Um, I love these braids. I think they're so pretty and so intricate. Um, I love the detail of it, especially like people with highlights or like multicolored hair. It looks so cool. It looks super cute on little kids too if they'll sit still long enough. Okay, so then you get to the bottom and you just tie it off with a rubber band. If I can get one, here we go. And there's your fishtail. So, also, you know, a lot of, this is like a very tight um, braid, tight braid. And you guys know that the, the look right now is kind of messy hair. So if you've seen those braids where like this part is huge and you're like, how do they do that? I'm going to show you right now. So starting at the bottom of your braid, whether this was a regular braid or a fishtail braid, however, whatever kind of braid it is, you're going to start at the bottom and you're going to hold, I, I always hold it to make sure I don't pull the braid completely out because I've done that before and you're just going to pull. Pull some of the pieces and then hold it and pull this side. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be even. It just gives it some, um, some texture, a little style. And so as you're pulling up here, it's tightening down here. So you got to go back and pull the bottom part too. It just makes it look kind of cool, kind of different. There's no right or wrong way to do that. I think it looks super pretty. And then for this part, same thing. I would hold, hold where your bobby pin is and just kind of lightly pull. The braid out. And then there you go. You have a puffed out inside out French braid and then uh, a puffed out fishtail braid. 
it's really pretty if you want to wear it out. It's really pretty if you're just going to the beach and you want your hair out of your face. It looks really cool. Um, and it's super simple. You just really have to practice on yourself or on your kid or on your friend or whatever. Get a doll head. You can get them. Uh, we can link a link to buy doll heads um, on my comments section. Um, just to practice with. I know a lot of people like braids and cool hairstyles. So if you're really feeling extra or you really want to like wear this out, you could also, after you braid it, I've done this before for a lot of brides, um, you pretty much what you do is you take this fishtailed part, you're going to tuck the little tail underneath so you can't see it, hold it with your fingers, and you're literally going to roll it into a bun, okay? Roll it into a bun. You need like two bobby pins. And you're just going to pin it. And then look. You got a little updo. A braided bun. It'd be super cute if you stuck like a flower right there or a flower there. You know those little like diamondy gem things that you can decorate your hair with? That looks super cute. You can do bobby pin art on the side of your head, which I'll show you guys in a different video. Um, there's just a hundred things you could do with a braid. This is one simple way you can do your hair if you're like not sure what to do. Here you go. Braid, bun, easy as pie.